so things are now shaping up pretty nicely for Dogecoin. And in this video, I'm going to talk about some very important things for Doge and the overall market. So we can see here that Dogecoin has defied all the odds, and it has now successfully come out of the recent market-wide sell-off. The good thing is that Doge has been trading in the green for the last 48 hours, and this means that it is showing some continuous strength here. And this is exactly what I have been telling you all when Dogecoin was facing the crash. I was telling you that this crash is for the short term only, and Dogecoin will move up again sooner or later. And we can see here that it has now moved up and regained support around the 16 and 17 cents range. And if we look at its technical indicators, we can see that most of them have now turned bullish. And the best thing is that Doge has now moved up its 20-day simple moving average and exponential moving average. And this is a very strong bullish indicator for Dogecoin. And I think it is indicating that Doge is going to show some more momentum in the coming trading sessions as well. And we can also see here that the overall market is also rallying up. The global crypto market cap has now moved up the $2 trillion level. And the good thing is that the total crypto market volume has also increased during the last 24 hours. And another positive thing is that major coins like Bitcoin and Ethereum are also up. And I think they are going to perform better from here. And this is going to be pretty bullish for Dogecoin and other altcoins. So we know that the U.S. Labor Department reported a 7% rise in the Consumer Price Index recently, and this is the fastest rate at which inflation has grown since 1982. And due to this, major investors are now rushing to the crypto market, and this is exactly why we are now seeing that Dogecoin, Bitcoin, and other cryptos are rallying up. And another thing is that the U.S. dollar is also struggling, and the U.S. dollar currency index, which tracks the performance of the dollar against a basket of six of its peers, has declined about 1% to 94.9. And this is another reason why investors are getting into the crypto market, eventually rising the prices of major cryptos. And while cryptos are performing positively, we are seeing that crypto-related stocks are also rallying up after months-long bearish movements. Crypto firms like Galaxy Digital and Coinbase surged significantly in the last 48 hours, gaining about 8% and 5%, respectively. And Robinhood, which has fallen more than 70% since it clocked in all-time highs in August, gained about 5% during the last 48 hours. And this is yet another bullish indicator for Dogecoin and other cryptos. And it means that more and more investors are now turning towards cryptos and crypto-related stocks and funds. So while everything is now looking good for cryptos, we are now seeing that more and more analysts and market leaders are bullish about the overall crypto market. For example, Personal Finance Euro and Ramsey Solutions CEO Dave Ramsey believes that cryptos are fun and they are here to stay. He also believes that cryptos are good investment assets and they can be made a small part of people's investment portfolios. Similarly, Joe Rogan, the world's biggest podcaster, has recently revealed that he has a lot of hope for cryptos in the coming years. And he believes that cryptos are going to be used as an opportunity to improve the current financial system, and they can make the lives of people better. So the point is that we are now seeing more and more influential people having a bullish outlook about Bitcoin, Dogecoin, and the overall crypto market. And such a positive endorsement coming from prominent persons is actually very bullish for the overall crypto market in terms of prices. And we are also seeing some positive updates for cryptos that can also have a bullish impact on the overall market. For example, Hong Kong is now going to regulate the crypto sector during this year. And as per Bloomberg, the Hong Kong Monetary Authority is now planning to establish a new regulatory regime for cryptos by July this year. The monetary authority will approach the crypto industry from three aspects, protection for local investors, comprehensive rules for authorized institutions, and special attention to stable coins. And this is positive news as crypto regulation in Hong Kong will allow millions of investors to invest in cryptos, and this will eventually help in the price growth of the market in the long term. And now let's come to Bitcoin for a minute. So we can see here that Bitcoin has been trading in the green during the last 24 hours, and it is now maintaining support around the 40k to 44k region. And although Bitcoin hasn't witnessed a major price surge, it has still managed to overcome the market pressure by showing some positive momentum.
And since we know that the inflation rate in the U.S. has been rising, it is highly likely that more and more investors will invest in Bitcoin to hedge against inflation. And this is going to help in the growth of Bitcoin's price. Moreover, we have some very bullish indicators for Bitcoin that can help its price to grow in the coming days as well. For example, we can see on this chart that Bitcoin is now trading in the support zone between 40k to 44k. And the thing to note here is that this support zone was previously a major resistance level for Bitcoin. As you can see here on this chart, Bitcoin faced major resistance around this range back in March and May last year. And now Bitcoin has managed to flip this resistance into the support floor. And this means that Bitcoin is now ready to move up from here. So another very important thing I want to talk about is that crypto analyst Steve has recently shared a very bullish scenario for Bitcoin. As per the chart he shared, Bitcoin is now very close to the 2.27 Fibonacci level. And it means that if Bitcoin moves up this level, then there is going to be a huge breakout for it. And we can see here that it took about 528 days for Bitcoin to get at this level previously. And when it did it, we saw a huge breakout. And as of now, this cycle has become 45% longer and it appears that this time Bitcoin is going to reach this Fibonacci level in 757 days. And this means that we are just inches away from Bitcoin to hit the 2.27 Fibonacci level. And if history repeats itself, then we will be seeing Bitcoin breaking out from here and surging massively. And this chart is also showing us that if Bitcoin reaches this FIB level, then it can go as high as $200,000. And we can see here that Bitcoin will first reach the 69K level, and then it will bounce back down to around 48K. And after it, Bitcoin will again surge and it will move around the 100K price range before dropping down to the 90K range. And when this happens, Bitcoin will witness a massive surge and this bull run will take Bitcoin above the 200k price range. So seeing this chart and analysis, I think that Bitcoin is going to hit this Fibonacci level sooner than later. And I think that the springtime is going to be huge for Bitcoin. And another good thing for Bitcoin is that the short-term optimism has returned to the crypto market. And as a result, Bitcoin recently experienced the largest exchange outflows in over a month. So we can see here that there are a lot of outflows from exchanges, and this is actually bullish for Bitcoin. And it is indicating that the institutional and retail interest in Bitcoin is now rising, and more and more people are now buying Bitcoin. And as I talked about it before, after fading away for some weeks, the retail interest is coming back for Bitcoin. We can see here that the number of addresses with the smallest amount of Bitcoin is now increasing in comparison to the number of whales. And the number of Bitcoin addresses with a non-zero balance is currently at all-time highs, which means Bitcoin is now getting adopted. And as more and more retail investors are now coming into the Bitcoin market, we are now seeing that Bitcoin is moving up. And I think it will continue to move up from here owing to massive retail interest. And another positive update is that the Bitcoin exchange outflows are now seeing the biggest daily spike since September 2021. And almost 30k bitcoins have left exchanges in a single day as buyers are now copying miners and taking bitcoin supply off the market. So this is yet another huge bullish indicator for bitcoin. And it appears that the miners behavior has changed, and bitcoin miners are not dumping their bitcoin, but they are holding their coins. And as you can see here on this chart, we are now seeing that the total bitcoin exchange net flow has gone down. And this means that more and more Bitcoin is now coming off exchanges. And right now, we have almost 77% of all Bitcoin available is being held off exchanges. So this means that the scarcity or the rarity of Bitcoin is now increasing. And this is a clear indication that Bitcoin is now poised for a bull run. And since everything is shaping up pretty nicely for Bitcoin, I'd like to remind you that Dogecoin's price correlation with Bitcoin is still pretty high. And another thing is that about half of Bitcoin holders also hold Dogecoin. So this is a clear indication that if Bitcoin moves up, then Dogecoin is going to follow suit. So the point is that all these bullish indicators for Bitcoin are equally bullish for Doge. And since Doge has already managed to rally up in the last 48 hours, I think that it is not going to stop here. And the coming trading sessions are now looking pretty positive for Doge. 